Hello guys and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to show you how we can use the Mesh Mode Force Bone Snapshot to correct or modify uh, animation sequences either from uh, animation sequencer or for from a level sequencer you know and add our modification correction or whatever we want to our uh, animations right so what we want to modify is uh, this animation and uh, this is a running animation retargeted from um, many uh, skeletal mesh to the metahuman mesh right uh, this is retargeted using the engines retargeter so it works pretty good and uh, we want to add uh, some modification to it right so what we want to uh, modify for example let's uh, let's jump to frame 10 uh, and uh, we will want to modify some uh, uh, fingers here so we can uh, have our custom animation uh, or corrected animation right so let's uh, jump into it uh, we will open the body uh, metahuman body in uh, poser and uh, here well, we want to load our sequence right we will load our retargeted sequence and we will jump to frame 10. here uh, what we want to do uh, we will we will uh, set current pose as base and uh, you can always change the current pose you can either clear it or set a new one it's up to you and now we can start doing our changes here right uh, make sure you don't have uh, symmetry enabled because the bones are not symmetric at this point. And uh, let's do some uh, changes here. Let's uh, go with some changes so we can uh, see them in uh, our uh, Persona toolkit. Let's say this is one finger and let's go for the ring finger. We're going to do something similar, something simple but visible, just so we can keep track of our changes. Right? And now we can see uh, th these are the changes we want to have in our animation, right? Maybe not the best changes, but uh, you get the gist. Let's. Uh, Add a little bit of uh, rotation here, maybe. Right? And uh, let's say these uh, are our changes, right? We want to have in our uh, animation. Uh, what we have to do now is go to edit and here we have create bone snapshot from base pose, right? And uh, this uh, will be our correction. This is uh, basically our uh, bone, snapshot, bone snapshot correction. Uh, we can either enable save change bones only and uh, at that point uh, the bone snapshot will uh, contain only what we've changed or if we keep it disabled you uh, will have in the bone snapshot the entire skeleton it's gonna be basically a full skeleton bone snapshot right uh i will keep it disabled for the sake of it uh if you keep it disabled then you can uh, load it back in uh, poser if you keep it uh, enabled then uh, only these changes will be loaded in poser right so let's keep it disabled for the sake of our experiment here and uh, let's uh, give it a name here correction one this is our bone snapshot and uh and now uh, we can uh, go ahead uh, to our animation here and uh, let's click on the skeletal mesh and let's add a curve we have here we're, we're gonna trigger our correction using the animation sequence directly right uh, let's add the name correction one we will keep both uh, these options disabled. It's not a morph target and it's not a material curve. This is a simple animation curve. So we will keep this both disabled. We don't need them uh, enabled. And uh, let's close uh, these uh, two windows. So the curve appears correctly. And now if we go to our frames here, uh, we have here the option curves and we can add a curve let's search for corrective 
uh, correction one curve which uh, we've just created and uh, let's edit the curve right so we will go to frame 9 for example add a key it's gonna be at zero let's go to frame 10 this is where basically we want to have our correction trigger that maximum and then at frame 12 let's uh disable it again right so let's go to uh, the uh, key at frame 10 and uh, let's set a value of one so this is gonna be our curve setup uh, now, in order to have this uh, functioning, uh, let's uh, open the post-process for the body. And uh, in post-process, we need to load our bone snapshot, right? So let's uh, get the curve value of our just uh, created the curve, uh, which is uh, correction one. We will enter here correction one, and we will get the value from uh, for that uh, curve, right? And uh, let's use a load bone snapshot node. And uh, let's connect everything and let's select our correction one bone snapshot, right? Plug in the value from the curve to the alpha and the uh, compile. And now let's test it out. Let's see what's going on here. We will see our fingers uh, are getting modified uh, the way we, we've changed them in a uh, poser right okay and if we add here our uh, level uh, let's create a new level sequence with only this one let's uh, create a new level sequence okay and uh, now let's go uh, to level sequence and uh, let's add our metahuman uh, let's uh, load our animation and let's test it out so we're gonna navigate to our frames here and we will see our change here right it's uh, at frame 10 we got our change right so this is one way uh, we can uh, trigger a uh, uh, these uh, corrections or changes to our animations but we can do another uh, change here we, we can we can trigger this with sequencer directly right so uh, let's uh, go to post process animation blueprint actually let's uh, let's remove this curve here we're not gonna trigger with uh, the animation sequence so let's uh, remove that let's remove the curve name here as well and uh, uh, let's go to post-process animation blueprint and here let's create a new variable it's gonna be a float uh, variable and uh, let's uh, rename this let's give it correction one name and uh, we will uh, load uh, uh, we will expose this to cinematics right so let's uh, get the value and plug it in to alpha value for our load bone snapshot node and compile right so now we can close this we don't need it and uh, let's go back to our level sequence right uh, here we will do the same but we will need to add some stuff we need to add our post process animation blueprint and here uh, under post process animation blueprint if we click this plus we will have correction one uh, this is our exposed to cinematics variable from post process right so uh, let's add a key uh, we are gonna add the same at the uh, frame zero nine uh, it's gonna have a value of uh, zero at uh, uh, frame 10 it's gonna have a value of one and Let's go with 12 it's gonna have again a value of zero right so uh let's uh recheck the value so frame 12 is zero frame 10 is one frame uh, nine it's zero again so if we go through this we will see our uh, correction loaded uh directly from uh, the level sequence here right so this is uh the full setup this is uh, how you can uh, load bone snapshots so uh, what i did for the bone snapshots here you would do the same for morph targets or whatever 
but uh, basically this uh, is how we load our corrections uh, or modifications to our se to animation sequences uh, in the engine. I hope uh, you like this video. I hope to find it useful and uh, see you around. Bye.